have to go through this exhibition match, we could call it. <laughs> the, Dog Monster. I like to call it the undercard. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You can see just how crushing this is. Smeb has literally four times the KDA that Hippo does. This KDA chart is like an amoeba absorbing its prey. Yeah, if you've ever played, <laughs> if you've ever played that game, Agario, the browser one where it's just a bunch of circles consuming each other and you try to get as large as you possibly can, that's basically Agario right there. <laughs> that, that graph. The, the Agario graph, all right. Should have ran Ignite Nautilus, damn. No, I don't think so. Yeah, don't do that, please. <laughs> yes, listening. professional players, do not play Ignite Tops unless you are Trace and you are playing Quinn. If you are not Trace and you are not Trace playing Quinn, do not do that. And I think very many of you are not Trace. I think pretty much everyone is not Trace. Um, and you're definitely not Trace if you're watching this stream. Yeah. Trace is probably on his way to the studio right now. At least five out of six people watching this are not Trace. <laughs> I think that was the... The researched figure. <laughs> Took a poll? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, God. You know it was a nightmare when we had Kongdu versus Menu? It was Soul and Soul. <laughs> One on each team. That that kind of sucks. That was just like, and Soul goes into the back line. He's jumping on a Soul. And, oh. and I was like, oh, God. This must sound so bad for somebody that's listening to like an audio only. <laughs> That's right. With no I think we video. should make a new rule here at OGN. Players are not allowed to have names that are homonyms. That's not okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, the it wasn't fun. The funniest, <laughs> the funniest one, uh, actually was. So, back in the back in the days of of Champions in 2014, there was a team called MIG Blitz or MIG Blitz, mm -hmm. right? And then there was the KT Bullets, right? But the problem is, is that if you say Blitz and Bullets with a Korean accent, they sound literally identical. So the Korean casters were complaining because when they <laughs> played each other, they had effectively the same exact name, the teams. That's really funny. I mean, the easiest way to fix that problem is just to have KT go back to being uh, <laughs> Finger Boom or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, Finger Boom, KT Finger Boom, their, their temporary name. Several years back. That yes. will live on <laughs> as legend. In, in, in infamy, in esports infamy, that's for sure. You know, Kespa really hates when I mention that. Like, I've tweeted it sometimes, and Kespa has tweeted at me and said, please don't tweet that. And I was like, no, I'm, just, I'm still going to tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's not much you can do to stop it. Hippo, though, stopping that gank. Kuro is no longer allowed to play Fios here, which I heartily, heartily agree with. His all-time record on Azir is currently 5 and 12. He tried to play it a lot last year. It didn't go well. <laughs> Finding a kill onto Crush. Three members going down here. It's going to be Kuro falling on the side of Rocks. But look at Smeb. <laughs> the crit right at the oh. end there. The parlay crit. <laughs> he did not expect that much damage to come out of the gangplank. Thought he was free to trade Smeb. Rolling the dice and he coming had, up big. He even had flash. He totally <laughs> thought he was fine. Twenty percent crit. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish Yasuo would come back. I miss Pawn and and Dade playing Yasuo. Well, if Nar comes back, we could be seeing. It's true. Top Yasuo lane Yasuo. Moving. Counter pick dream. Thank you, Darshan. No. Excuse me. No, I don't. Thank you. Okay. Someday. That's someday, what. That's someday. what you mean. <laughs> All right. Look. You're, I was get, some, get your head out of NA. You're I a Korean in, caster now. I was in North America for I know, all the I'm first sorry. five seasons. It was like, uh, you know, Plato's allegory of the cave, where all you saw for your entire life was the, the shadows on the wall, and then you were unchained and released into the glorious light of day, where there are actually real things. Yeah, well, this was that was someday's invention. You do, how dare you put that on, Darshan? <laughs> Uh, sorry, you you're fired. You haven't beaten all of the North America <laughs> out of me, it seems, though. So, gonna be the TP coming in from Hippo already. I was talking about this with, pa with uh, Papa. I cannot wait for that Meow Kai skin. To be I still seen. haven't even seen it, so. You haven't even looked at it? No, I haven't oh, looked at it. Oh my god, it's I, so I'm, good. I'm holding out for the real surprise. You I just want to wait. In a professional least, game. Yeah, just wait until you see it in game. No, I just forget to look at it when I, mean, I have the chance. I don't actually care that much. It's, it's just a great. skin. It's just a skin, Achilles.
Don't you love League of Legends for the purity of the game and the glory of competition, not a tree looking like a cat? No. Well, welcome to the masses. I like I like it for the $5 dumps of skins that I could get. <laughs> All right. Well, stay a pleb then. Yep. And maybe we'll see some maybe we'll see some Draven Draven by Arrow. It'll be great. <laughs> see, I like the game. Cuz you know that you know, this is the way that it works. When Riot pushes out a skin that's going to get an immense amount of popularity, they have to tune the champion up so it's a professional play. They have to buff it. Maokai, sure. Maokai's already getting a buff at 6.6. Yeah, see? So, Maokai, perfectly timed. <laughs> it's called pulled out on the court. JJ's taking a lot of damage. Don't think he's going to get out of this one. No, he's not. Who's on with the TP just to support his team morally? It was, <laughs> it was a, a TP for cheering. Yep. It's just like, it's like, hooray! He should have slash laughed as soon as he got out of his TP. I'm coming down here to slap you on the back because you've done a great job. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Your MVP from game one is Ambition in the Jungle. Deathless game and 100% kill participation. Can we please stop giving him graves? <laughs> Earth to everyone in this league. Can you please take a look at how the Africa Freaks beat Samsung? Do not give Ambition graves. This has been a public service announcement. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> what, what, what are you implying here, Monty? <laughs> Slowly getting whittled down. Bot lane goes down, Wild goes on the crown as Kuzan comes in, but the Frozen Tomb connects. He has to flash away and use the cleanse yet again. Both summoners, nicely done from Kuzan, and he gets the tier two turret, and they get the tier two turret in the top side, and, and they the get <laughs> and they get the tier two turret in the mid lane. Good lord. He's not even auto attacking, he's just trying to dash and run. Does get the exit, trying to life steal up on the Raptors, but the rest of his team is dying in and around him. Not in him, in around him. That was a weird <laughs> <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I like the Lissandra I as well. I do not like the Lulu. Yeah. Okay. Either LeBlanc or Lissandra is fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Please. Good. No. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No. <laughs> Don't you do it. <laughs> no, you can see better of command. The what? Maokai is the worst dream. Or worst nightmare has come true. Sapling trying so hard to deal damage. But you can't. Seriously, just wait until those saplings are tiny little cats. <laughs> and then what happens? They just explode, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds cruel to cats. I mean, yeah. I was telling, Bob, <laughs> I was telling Papa there's a, there's actually a board game called Exploding Kittens, so maybe Ryan had to pay <laughs> some royalty fees <laughs> in order to make that skin. No, I don't, I don't think Ryan pays fees. Probably not. You would not. <laughs> Game. Yep, it's really solid. Your MVP for that last game is going to be Court JJ. Oh, nice. He's modeling for us in his picture. Yeah. Running his hands through his <laughs> silky hair. <laughs> to fifth dragon, even with their long average game time. Well, that's going to be the second one. Nice Bard ultimate under two members. It's Blank and Baker getting locked up. Ever Abide pushes BDD and Mad Life over the wall. Collateral damage gets thrown Mitara out. Tara is just pinned in there. Nowhere to go. And they just... Whoops. <laughs> Decimate him, back him into a corner, and beat the hell out of him. That's just cruel. That's like schoolyard bullying. Let's put him into the punishment chamber. Yeah. Right, right with a bunch of soldiers. The that, hyperbolic, get your ass kicked chamber. I believe that one's in Guantanamo Bay. Yes, it is actually. Those poke or team fight situations. And Tara, well, already would be dead on the new patch. Goodbye. I, I can't wait for 6.6. <laughs> This is stupid. <laughs> SKT just playing the map better, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dueling Voidlings. Double Zerat portal. If only the Voidlings would just come out and immediately attack the other Zerat portal. Yeah, why don't? Why do they do that? Why do they have to fight in the minion way? It should just be this big <laughs> arena brawl between <laughs> Zerat minions killing each other. It's like a race. Which portal can kill the other one the fastest? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Stupid Zerat. He's a couple of rockets right there, and he's going to try and dodge around the outside. Now, Faker, I don't know why he was really there. Really greedy. Yeah, there was a big one coming up, but there's no reason for him to pursue that. And you see Faker's guy, he's like, <laughs> crap, 
I didn't know it was the big one. <laughs> ah, hell. Yeah. So, just like that. <laughs> that's actually going to make an amazing gif of Baker right there. Yeah, that's that. actually, that reaction shot is super good. Oh, what good. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that's super good. <laughs> oh. That's great. I expect to see that on Twitter. This has to be. This has to be something like, "Come on!" Yeah. <laughs> it's actually probably already on, like, on shot and posted to Reddit. Somebody just yep. pulled the trigger on it that quickly. <laughs> that was great. I can't wait to use that moving forward. <laughs> Perfect meme material right there. Yeah. Big one, or if he's just going to sit back. Looks like it's going to be the latter. And just like that, SKT 2-0 over CJ. CJ, the players and staff look up and shout, save us, and Baker whispers, <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor Spenu. So, rough stuff, but we can see Snowflower just keeping him zoned away from experience, throwing out those meeps and uh, harassing the hell out of Secret. It's a penguin, it's not a meep. Look at it. Oh, okay, it's a meep penguin. <laughs> <laughs> That's even... That's cruel. He's just throwing, throwing penguins, just fastballing hey, penguins. Hey, into how a do you how do you know that throwing a penguin is more cruel than throwing a meep? You're just judging because you know what a penguin is in real life. Maybe meeps are hyper intelligent creatures that should not be thrown when penguins should. Okay, well let's just agree that <laughs> Bard throwing things. He is a cruel man, person, celestial being thing. But we know he's totally apathetic, and he just runs around. You know, taking random artifacts and then vanishing, so. Just, uh... Bard's ethic's already in question, really. Yeah, he's, he's just an odd character. Leaves, leaves his lane just whenever he wants. Just to wander around, pick up more meeps so he can throw well, them at people. He picks people. up chimes. chimes. I, don't, I don't know how chimes well, turn, turn into meeps, Well, though. picking up the chimes gets, gets him more meeps, so. Are meeps attracted by chimes? He must be. He's like baiting these creatures <laughs> so that he can murder them by throwing them into the face of his enemies. Yep. You know, I just noticed that the shrines are, it's a, just a cup of like cocoa with some, some sugar going no, into it. No, it's a marshmallow. Or marshmallow, whatever it is. Yep. It's a big white cube-ish <laughs> looking thing. You don't need more sugar in cocoa. You need a delicious marshmallow. Maybe, well, Bar all right, Bard's a weird guy. Maybe he just like, he has a sugar tooth, man. Well, marshmallow should satisfy that too, don't you? All right, think? one giant marshmallow. It's like, see, you've, I, it's see, like you've never had hot chocolate. Well, before. no, see, I take my hot chocolate with the mini marshmallows. I take so. my hot chocolate with brandy. Touché. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> also, not a marshmallow. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know if uh, Riot would feel confident enough to just have a giant, just a bottle of brandy being <laughs> submerged into a cup of cocoa. You don't put the bottle of brandy in there. It no, should no, just no. like appear over and then pour just some brandy in A shot it. glass just <laughs> tipping slowly. I think you just put the whole bottle in. <laughs> Turn it upside down. You get one of those little stands for it, like on a, I can't remember the name of those margaritas with the Coronas that just like are pouring oh, into it constantly. Th those are gross. Yeah. But it's like that, but a giant bottle of brandy just pouring into the cocoa. We'll see how long it takes him to get oh. all saucin'. I loved reading the post-game thread after Spenu got that win over Kongdu Monster. There's so many people who are just like, we got one! <laughs> a Spenu great. celebration. Yep. Happy saucin'. Happy saucin' is the best saucin'. He it's normally, just not the he most normally looks so sad. It's just not the most consistent saucin' is the, is the Oh no, part. it's uh, Happy saucin' is very consistent. It doesn't show up. We know it's not going to show well, up. That's right. <laughs> we could fair, fair. we could we could calculate the. You flipped my you flipped my meaning. Saucin. You flipped my meaning no. for what I was going for. You just don't know the the meaning of the word consistent. I was <laughs> implying. I was meaning it to imply that sad saucin was much more prevalent. Yes. Than happy saucin. That's true. That is a correct statement. <laughs> well, who knows what kind of marshmallows they have in Rune Terra? That's true. Everything's slightly off there. They're yordles, tiny people with giant heads. The marshmallow is probably made from some kind of creature dying just because of this place. Yordle is so blood? Savage. That's yeah. what I think. Congealed <laughs> yordle blood. Iksu trying to win this one out, but just now going to realize that Flawless has arrived. We'll pop him up in the air. <laughs> and it's just like, all right. <laughs> good try. You you burned your flash for nothing. <laughs> That's right. But I don't think Mickey's. Oh, Mickey is going to double yeah. W in. Oops. Oh, gets popped up. Uh, they're chasing the they're clone. They're chasing the wrong one, but Secret's here. Headbutts him. He messes up the combo. Mickey with the blue buff. 
gets that cooldown reduction and will Saw be able to walk flash too. Good Mickey, lord. So confident that he doesn't even flash. Now, he definitely should have flashed, I think. Didn't say very much. Yeah, sometimes you get to say it's up in 36 minutes, though. Yeah, wow, Stuntflower, what is he doing? He's Whoa. just magical journeying right into a pulverized. Got a nice double stun, but the TP's coming in from Soul. Should be able to lock him up. Flashes in for the dredge line. We'll find him. Bard ultimate comes down, but he's just buying time for his inevitable death. So gets another stun. I guess so, it's, it's going to be one of those kind of games. He's trying to Akelios. style. Yeah, he's trying to style. He was like, guys. "Look at this magic, blind magical jury. Oh, there's an Alistair here. Great. He's going to punt me under the turret now. Well done, Snowflower. Well done." <laughs> I'm just thinking about that performance, and it makes me go. Yeah, <laughs> makes me go uh too. But that's gonna okay. be the Maokai and Siver. Being so good game by him. We're gonna throw over to Robin to finish out our last interview of the night with our MVPs. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And I'm gonna quote Frodo and say, "It's done. <laughs> the ring has been destroyed four straight days. Thank you so much. Let's go into the booth." Makes it's... me go uh uh uh.